sometimes we do not give our parents an impression that is still we need of them in advance. The father said, son, everything is going fine. How is your work? My work is fine, alhamdulillah. How is school? School is fine. Everything is fine. And the parent says, how come this son does not talk to me? How this daughter does not talk to me? You know, I, you know how much, believe me, if your parents are alive, pick up the phone and call them. If you are an adult and says, father and mother, I want, if you, even if you are a man or a woman, have your own children. Pick up the phone, if they are not here, and call them and say, I need your advice in this. You know what happened? The, you cannot, if we, if we can picture the emotion, the state of that person, if we, you can picture them jumping. Like, wow, you know, I'm still important. I'm still in need it, you know? And that, what, what is important is that to have a person, and that's why Abdullah ibn Umar, radiallahu anhu, he used to, Umar ibn Khattab, very wise man, is Khalifa of, 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 of Mu'mineen. He doesn't need any, he doesn't have any problem with self-esteem. But when Abdullah ibn Umar come to him and ask him questions about things, he light up and said, Ya, ya Bunay, oh my son, this, oh, that's what I think. This, because he feel that somebody come to him with advice. You know, Asma bin Abi Bakr, radiallahu anha, was an old lady, lost her sight. Her son, Abdullah ibn Zubair, he first this hardship fighting in Mecca. He went to whom? He went to his mother. He says, mother, I'm really, I feel like I need to run away. I cannot do this. She said, why, son? Why don't you stand up and defend yourself and defend the city, Mecca? He said, oh, mother, I, I think that if I fight, uh, those people, after I die, they're going to start making the called musla, make mark on my body, going to cut my nose, and they're going to play with my body. When the mother said, said, son, stand for what is right. What will happen to uh, any sheep after being uh, slaughtered if they do anything to the skin? Don't worry about it. Stand for it. You. And imagine this mother. She was blind. Hajjaj ibn Yusuf hanged her son in the area of Kaaba. And she said, show me what my son is. They said, they brought her near it. His body is hanging. She said, they said, it is. It is here. He said, it's about time this knight, this, this courageous man, to be stepped down, put, be put down. Mean that it's time to bury him. Don't do that. Asma bin Tabi Bakr. She gave that Safiya, uh, the, the, the aunt of Rasulullah She gave, she used to advise her son Azbir ibn Awam, who was a very wise man, in a difficult time, he used to come back to his mother. And that's what you need to do, that to feel that connection. And by the way, there's attitude sometimes, parents are not important. And don't get affected by the culture, popular culture, where the parents are not important, the gang is important, the colleague is important, the work is important, nothing is, everything is more important than them. Muslims should not do that. It's not what Islam teaches us. Um,